Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, happy Saturday and welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here on your uh, hometown station AM and FM KHDS. That's right, 98.1 FM. So our show just got twice as good. In fact, it got twice as good today because I got a new co-host today. We booted Gino, and I brought in Mr. Steve Korn. You recognize Steve Korn. How you doing? That's right. He's been a co-host of the show since we began, really, seven years ago. We bring on Steve whenever possible because he's in the know. After 53, 54 years? 55 years. 55 years in the (laughs) escrow industry. That's right. He was doing escrows in his diapers. Crawling across the floor. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, his dad started the company many years ago. New Hall Escrow, the premier escrow service in this town who we tie in with and steve's a great partner and friend of mine in fact uh, sometimes too good of a friend oh my goodness so oh, those days we'll talk about that no stories allowed <laughs> <laughs> so today we have a really great show you're going to want to pay attention to this and remember there's four segments and you can join us by going to donandgino.com donandgino.com d-o-n-a-n-d-g-i-n-o.com click on the live streaming button and voila you enter our custom built studios right here at skyline home loans where you can see steve corn and we'll introduce Don. our guest today mr murray wood with college of the canyons thank you welcome aboard thank you very much i appreciate being here it's going to be a fun show today today we're going to educate you about what's happening with college of the canyons remember i've been in this town since uh, 76 long time coc was more of an extension of high school it seemed like almost just a community college that we went to on our next step to wherever we're going to do Boy, has it grown. It has expanded beyond belief. So we're going to educate you on some of the uh, programs, some of the advances, some of the improvements, some of the items. I bet you don't even know, such as the culinary school that is off the charts that both these individuals had a lot to do with. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's dive in. Uh, let's start with you, Murray. We'll get a little background. Like, why, why do we have Murray Wood here from COC talking about the expansion and growth? I think it's because you had a lot to do with it. Well, I've been here now. This is my 10th year at College of the Canyons. And in a sense, I'm still a newbie because so many new things are happening at the college all the time. And um, I came here because I have a passion for higher education. I really believe that uh, a higher education is a person's ticket to the future. Uh, It's how they know they will survive and when they have a college education or a an an education in terms of a career technical education that Mm -hmm. we offer to about 30 percent of our students they have ready waiting jobs for them and become full-blown participating citizens now we like participating citizens absolutely (laughs) especially when it comes to paying taxes and, and buying houses yes the other thing is the college of the canyons is a unique gem in our community that itself just as our public schools are wonderful, College of the Canyons attracts people to want to live in proximity to the Santa Clarita Valley uh. so that they can have access to the wonderful educational activities that are here. So that's part of why I'm here myself, um, because I know that we make a difference in people's lives. And way, way back when I was a uh, uh, junior high and high school student, I said, I want to make a difference in people's lives dedicate my life to that and found my avenue and pathway and that's what we do at College of the Canyon. We help our students find their pathways. Well you also have a specific role with uh, you know as you're doing now that's why we have you on the show Murray is to spread the 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 news spread the word let educate people more about what's going on at College of the Canyons and you do that also by helping them raise funds educating and developing a lot of different projects there, am I right? Absolutely. We have 22,000, 23,000 students. Wow. Last year we graduated over 2,000 students. It was our highest number in history. And it continues year after year. Um, We have the highest rate of uh, graduates who go on to four-year colleges than any of the 12 other community colleges in LA County. That's huge. We are, that says a lot for it. We're number two in the whole state in terms of our students going on to four-year colleges and universities. Wow, that's got to make you proud. Makes me proud, and it's a distinction 
that we bring to this community. So when people think about moving here again, building or buying a home, it's because of the educational resources that are available for their family as they grow. Now, not everybody has that opportunity. There are lots of people who have never thought about going to college. And that's one of the things that Steve and I have been involved with in working with the College of the Canyons Foundation. We're the tax-deductible arm of the, um, uh, of the college. The college is the training educational uh, resource, and we provide the funds by reaching out into the community to help the college sustain and continue. And we're now in our 40th year, and uh, we're going to be going on a lot more. We're still pretty young as a California community college. There are 114 of us in the state. And the combined enrollment of the 114 community colleges is larger than the enrollment of the CSUs and the UCs put together. I didn't know that. We are the largest educational institution in the United States, wow. the California community colleges. So it's another distinction and part of why I'm proud to be at the College of the Canyons. All right, so if you just tuned in and you're wondering, who's so proud about being part of College of Canyons? Murray Wood, and he has a distinct role with College of Canyons in, on the College of the Canyons Foundation, and he's the chief of that. And then we also have a, a very longtime participant that's heavily involved. I know because this person makes sure that I'm in the know, whatever's going on at ZOC, and, and making sure that I, he tries to get me involved as much as possible, Mr. Steve Korn, again, owner of Newhall Escrow. Um, but an amazing individual in our community. He's heavily involved in our community since his birth, basically, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with his family, uh, his, his lovely wife and, and daughter. Um, and you're just heavily involved in COC. Your daughter went to COC, mm -hmm. played volleyball at COC. Right. But you dove in feet first, as you do with everything you do, Mr. Mm -hmm. Steve Korn. Yeah, my, my journey with COC has been really, really cool. Um, uh, you know, about eight years ago, um, I was on a couple of different boards, and I found myself just treading water and really not being effective. It wasn't effective. You know, with the boards that I was on, other nonprofits, the work that we started out to do, it wasn't the work we finished doing. And, and, and that's typical of some boards. It happens, and, yep. and, and it doesn't mean that the people on the boards were, were bad people. Just the bottom line is we weren't as effective as we, we, I knew we could be. And um, I was approached by the college to, uh, to kind of sniff around what's going on there. And, and coincidentally, at the time, I was approached to uh, consider uh, foundation board membership. They were building a culinary institute. Yeah. And if you know hmm. me, yeah. Hmm. Every, right. everybody, everybody on the thing go and see Steve right. Corn yeah. Culinary Institute. So when it comes hmm. to culinary arts, I'm all over it. And it was a perfect fit for me to uh, to uh, to transition to um, a, a, a nonprofit with the College of Canada's Foundation that I can really sink my teeth into and get behind. And that's just the beginning of the story. We've got so much more to talk about, um, and we have some great things ahead, um, namely the first year promise campaign that we're in the middle of. Um, uh, you know, I want to I want to say one thing though. You okay. Know, gone are the days of College of Canes as an institution being looked at as an extension of high school. Oh uh, my you, goodness! You drive Are you around that me? facility? Uh, the good work that Murray and his team at the foundation and, do. And Diane our Van faculty Hook. and our staff, from, the, from oh the top gosh. down, that organization is run like, an like 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 a, like a university. It feels. I like agree. It. it looks like it, and we run it like it's a university. And well, we have other things to talk about too. It comes to the University uh, Center. I was going to say that we actually are the um, partners with about seven other institutions that are, are four-year and uh, five-year um, colleges and universities. They come on our campus and they teach courses f leading to a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and even a doctoral degree oh, wow. right here in Santa Clarita. Nobody has to go, you know, that's downtown changed, LA. I know that wasn't available even back when I was going to college. Well, it's now almost 10 years old. And it's a program that is a very, very significant <laughs> kind of thing. We are probably the first, well, we are the first in California. I think there's only one other in the United States like it, where a community college houses uh, institutions of higher education that lead to further. Uh, no, I would have loved that because I, I actually, my alma mater was a school you were tied to for a little bit. At Cal, I was at Cal State Nor University North at CSUN Matador, and I took some of my, you know, you know, GE courses here at COC, but it would have been nice to be able to kind of 
plunge, you know, through and not have to go over the hill, especially when I was racing professional motocross at the time, to be that close to home and still get my education. Cal State Northridge is offering classes here in Santa Clarita. Uh, Cal State Bakersfield is offering classes here. Um, uh, National University, the University of Laverne, um, and I can go on. And I forgot how many different majors there are, but there are so many different majors that lead to bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degree. We're adding, uh, we're adding, we're adding additional every year. So when you drive around the community and you see the Diane, Dr. Dan Van Hook University Center, mm -hmm. that's a state-of-the-art facility built for this purpose. Uh, but not only does it have uh, higher educational institutions, the Academy of the Canyons, a Hart High School, uh, that's academically inspired also meets in that building as mm -hmm. well. And so we have students, the Hart High School students, who are taking concurrent courses at College of the Canyons oh, and are right. ending up getting a AA degree before they even get their high school uh, diploma crazy. within the same week. I would love to do that. <laughs> and so it puts them already two years ahead of their other high school um, colleagues that are not in the Academy of the Canyon. So it's an amazing thing. All right, so it's so amazing. In fact, we're gonna go to break now, because so we have, we're gonna come back, and we're, again, we're here with Steve Korn, owner of New Hall Escrow, on the College of Canyons Foundation, and we have the College of Canyons Foundation Chief, Mur Murray Ru Wood, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna talk about the Culinary Institute of the Arts that you probably didn't know about, College First Year Promise, and so much more with College of the Canyons. We can come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Don't go away, good stuff ahead.